What's up guys? In this video we will be testing a new mini PC from the well-known brand Ace Magic. We already had several computers from this company, such as Ace Magic K1, Ace Magician ARM5 and Ace AM08 Pro. By the way, the Kimrui is the same manufacturer, but more budget-friendly mini PCs, based on entry-level processors such as Intel N100 and Intel N150. As for the new Ace Magic M1, it also has an Intel processor, but it is mid-level. The mini PC comes with Intel Core i9 11900H CPU and Intel UHD Graphics 11th generation. We have a model with 32 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte of SSD, but the computer supports up to 64 gigs of RAM and 4 terabytes of storage. You know, this mini PC is designed for home and office use, but we also play a few games on it. Ok, let's start the review with unboxing. We can read the full name of the mini PC on the box – Ace Magic Matrix Mini M1. It seems to be available in silver and black, but I have only seen it in silver. Maybe the black version will be available later. The product information on the back says that my mini PC has 32 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte of ROM. Opening the box, first we see the mini PC in factory film, which recommends avoiding Wi-Fi and LAN connections initially for faster setup. Let's remove this film, but we will look at the design of the mini PC a little later. There is also a user manual in the box, as well as a power adapter, power cable, HDMI cable, and a mounting bracket with screws. Using this bracket, you can install the mini PC on the back of your monitor. However, even when placed on a desk, it will not take up much space. Let's talk about size and weight, and overall design of the Ace Magic M1 mini PC. So one of the advantages of any mini PC is its compact size. To be honest, I would say that the Ace Magic M1 is medium sized because we have tested smaller and larger mini PCs. Its dimensions are 130 by 130 by 40 mm. The weight is 530 grams. My computer is silver in color and it looks like it is made of metal, but in fact the case is made entirely of plastic. And there is only Ace Magic logo and Intel Core i9 sticker on the top panel. At the bottom we can see another sticker with the computer specifications, company contact details, as well as cooling vents and 4 rubber feet. The mini PC has a fan and we will try to see it when we open the case. There are openings on the side and back to exhaust, warm air from the computer. When it comes to connectivity options, the front panel has a power button, 3.5mm audio jack, two USB 3.2 Type-A ports, and one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port. There are also four USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, 2.5 gigabits per second LAN port, DP 1.4 and HDMI 2.1 port, and DC input on the back. So this mini PC really has many USB ports, which makes it good for office. You can also connect three monitors to it, using USB-C, DP and HDMI ports. That's great! Ok, now let's take it apart and see what's inside. Actually, we only see a fan here. It looks like the motherboard, SSD and RAM are on the other side. And I am not sure how to get there, so I will not try to break anything. Now let's finally turn the mini PC on and see how quickly it starts up. It took just 23 seconds to boot up completely. That's really fast. 
Before we start testing performance, running benchmarks and games, I want to check the Ace Magic M1 mini PC for viruses. Ace Magic has a rather bad reputation because many of their computers are infected with malware. They don't even deny this, and they give recommendations on how to clean up computers. You just need to reinstall Windows. As for the new Ace Magic M1 mini PC, I installed malware by its program, and it claims that the computer is clean. That's very good. Because when I tested the previous Ace Magic K1 mini PC some months ago, it had malware on it. By the way, the Ace Magic M1 and Ace Magic K1 are about the same price, around $300. However, the new mini PC runs on Intel processor, namely Intel Core i9 11900H CPU. While the previous mini PC we tested ran on AMD Ryzen 7 5700U. To make it more interesting, I will compare their benchmark results as well as overall performance to find out which processor is better for which tasks. But now let's go back to software. The Ace Magic M1 mini PC has a Windows 11 Pro pre-installed. However, I saw on the official website that you can install Ubuntu or Linux on it. As for the pre-installed Windows, it is activated and it comes with all Microsoft programs, such as Microsoft Store, Microsoft 365 Copilot, Microsoft Edge, etc. As I said, my mini PC comes with 1TB of storage. It has one disk with 952 gigs, but I have already installed benchmark tests and games, so most of it is already taken up. The Ace Magic M1 has M.2 2280 SSD, but its speed can differ a lot from the manufacturer. To be honest, I don't know which SSD is used here, because I couldn't see it when I opened the case. The Crystal Disk Info program says that this is GIM 932 EQ. We can also see the interface, transfer mode, standard, and others here. When it comes to speed, it is 3402 megabits per second read and 2348 megabits per second write. You know the Ace Magic M1 has really good SSD because we tested the Ace Magic K1 and it only had 520 and 100 megabits per second read and write speeds respectively. In general, the Ace Magic M1 mini PC supports up to 4 terabytes of storage by using two M.2 2280 slots. As for the RAM, my mini PC has 32 gigs. To be precise, there are two 16 gigs DDR4 3200 megahertz drives installed here. However, you can replace them with two 32 gigs drives, giving you a total of 64 gigs of RAM. Ok, let's go back to the processor and check its TDP. On the CPU benchmark website, we can see that the Intel Core i9 11900H CPU has a typical TDP of 45 watts. My mini PC ran at around 7 watts in standby mode. And reached the maximum of 65 watts during the stress test. By the way, the Intel Core i9 11900H CPU has a clock speed of 2.5 GHz and a turbo speed of 4.5 GHz. I told you that we would compare the Ace Magic M1 and Ace Magic K1 mini PCs with Intel and AMD processors. And you know, the AMD Ryzen 7 5700U CPU has only 15 watts typical TDP and 25 watts maximum TDP. The Intel CPU also has a higher clock speed of 2.5 GHz and a turbo speed of 4.5 GHz. These Intel and AMD processors belong to the laptop class, but Intel looks better. I also want to check the noise level of the Ace Magic M1 mini PC, and then we will move on to the benchmarks. The computer has a built-in fan, and it makes 39 decibels of the noise in standby mode. and 48 decibels at maximum load. You know, it is pretty noisy mini PC, but only when it is heavily loaded. Ok, let's move on to benchmark tests and a comparison of the Ace Magic M1 and Ace Magic K1 on Intel Core i9 11900H CPU and AMD Ryzen 7 5700U CPU respectively. 
I'm going to run some benchmark tests, and you can see the results. As you can see, the Ace Magic M1 has better single core and multi core performance in HIC Bench 6, Cinebench R23, and Plasmark Benchmarks. However, in the PC Mark Benchmark, the Ace Magic A1 has a little higher score than the Ace Magic M1. In addition, the mini PC with AMD GPU has almost twice the score in the 3D Mark benchmark. Now I understand why the Ace Magic M1 is positioned as a home and office computer, while the Ace Magic A1 is a gaming computer. However, we can still try to play a few games on it. Of course, this will not be the most heavy games, but popular ones such as CS2, Dota 2, PUBG, Battleground, etc. Let's start with Farolite 84. I am testing the mini PC on my 27-inch monitor with 2K resolution, so the default resolution in all games is also 2K, 2560 by 1440 pixels. If the game freezes, I will reduce the resolution to 1080p. As for this game, it runs very well at 2K resolution. I like the graphics and overall performance. The next game is Dota 2, which also performs well at 2K resolution. As for Counter-Strike 2, I played it with the default settings, and overall it is playable. But then I reduced the resolution to 1080p, and the game became much smoother. PUBG Battleground can also be played in 2K resolution, but the performance is better in 1080p. Asphalt Legends is a pretty simple game, so I didn't touch its settings and left it at the default 2K resolution.
As you can see, you can play these games in 1080p resolution and even 2K on the Ace Magic M1 Mini PC. Ok, now let's try some home and office tasks on this computer. If you buy it for home use, you will probably watch YouTube or other streaming services on it. So you can watch 4K video content on this computer without any problems. The video plays very smoothly. Moreover, you can open multiple tabs with the videos and switch between them with no lags. By the way, as for the internet connection, I am testing the mini PC via Wi Fi, and the download and upload speed is about 500 megabits per second. However, the Ace Magic M1 also has 2.5 gigabits per second LAN port for wired connection. When it comes to office tasks, I can show you Adobe Premiere Pro on this computer. I created a project with one of our videos in 4K resolution. As you can see, I can scroll and play the video on the timeline without any delays. As for export time, it took only 35 seconds to save a 1 minute clip. If we compare this with Ace Magic K1, it took 39 seconds to export a 1 minute clip. It seems like the mini PC with an Intel processor is a little better for video editing. You know the pre-installed Microsoft 365 will be useful for office work and education. You can use Word, Excel, PowerPoint and other programs. So my conclusions about the Ace Magic M1 Mini PC are that it is really good for home, office or study use. It even has better performance in single-core and multi-core tests than the Ace Magic K1 on the AMD Ryzen 7 processor. When it comes to games, Ace Magic K1 is still better, although you can also play them on this Mini PC. I would say it is good for entry-level and mid-level games. By the way, the 1TB SSD drive is really good here. I wouldn't even change it, but I could expand it to 4TB. You know, I was looking at the Ace Magic website and found another model of the M1 Mini PC based on the Intel Core i9 13900HK processor. And this is a newer and more powerful CPU than the one we tested in this video. So if you need higher performance, you can look at this model. Thank you for watching. See you soon!